Hey, I've been hearing a lot about this new update of Acasim Building Designer Connect Edition. This is me. You must already be knowing me. And if you don't, I'd recommend you watch my first video and then come back afterwards. You can click on the link on the top right corner of the screen. Well, if you are still here, that means you have already watched that video. So let's go ahead with this one. Today, we are going to talk about this. Well, that was not real, but this is. In the latest update of Open Buildings Designer, Shouldn't we talk about the history of the updates first? Yes, thank you. So let us now first talk about the history of... Anyway, as I was saying, the history... The history of staircases. In update 2, the place railing option, modification of railing elements and modify railing tool were introduced. In update 3, stair setting dialog, railing construction setting dialog and the ability to use user-defined parametric balusters and panels were introduced. In update 4, the ability to insert or remove landing from existing stairs, the ability to redefine stair construction settings and a new railing cell library were introduced. But now in this update comes the most interesting update of them all for which all our users have been waiting for. It's spiral and winder staircases. Along with that, there are a few uh, new 2D drawing compliances, for example, China standards. Spiral and winder stairs. Here we will see how we can place spiral stairs. We will go to the architectural tab and click on stairs. The place stair tab opens on the screen. Next up we select the type of stairs we want to use. Here we use institutional granite treads open. Then from the placement tab we select the placement method as spiral. We take a data point to place the stair, select the direction of the stair and click to finalize and place the stair. We can hit right click to exit the command. Now we will place the stair in an anti-clockwise direction. For this we go back to the place stair feature and change the sweep angle to minus 180 degrees. Let us also make some changes to other properties such as the inner radius can be changed to 800, the stair width is also changed to 2000 and finally the height of the stair is changed to 4000 mm. We select a data point to place the stairs, provide our desired direction and accept the changes with a click again to place the stair. You can see both the clockwise as well as the anti-clockwise stairs here. Here we will see the placement of winder stairs. We go to the stair tool from the architectural tab and select a concrete monolithic stair. Then we go to the placement options and from here we select the quarter turn winder stair. Let us take a data point at the corner of this grid to place the stair. After which we left click again to determine the winder point and finalize the flight of stairs. Now we can select the direction of the next flight which can be left or right. We would like to have it towards the right here and click again to accept our changes. The quarter turn winder stair is placed. Now we will place a half turn winder stair. For this we just need to change the placement method of the stair to half turn winder stair. Select a data point, determine the flight, enter the winder point, select the direction and here we have the half turn winder stair. Finally let us see two quarter turn winder stair. Select a point on the grid, press enter to lock the axis, determine the first flight of the stairs and click to select the first winder point. After this, you can select the flight direction and the next winder point. Following the selection of the next winder point, you can select the direction of the final flight to complete your stair. Click to provide the final data point and accept the stair. More on this subject coming soon. New 2D Drawing Compliances Stair representations in 2D drawings now comply with China drafting standards where on placement lower floor shows the stair assembly up to cut plane. On floor above placement floor shows the treads that are above the cut line of the floor below. So that was all about the new updates in stairs in this version of Open Buildings Designer. I hope it was good enough for you. Hey Prof, I see you know everything. 
Well, yes, that's because you have eyes.